Put on your shades because Mercury is a hot spot. From the surface of this planet, the sun looks three times bigger than it does from Earth, and the light is 11 times brighter. Mercury may spin slower than Earth, but it still knows how to have a good time. One day on this planet lasts a whopping 59 Earth days. But don't worry, a year on Mercury is only 88 Earth days long, so if you want to feel like a centenarian, just divide your age by naught, 0.25 or multiply it by 4. This way, you'll get your approximate Mercurian age. Easy peasy. And let's not forget about Mercury's funky orbit. For every two orbits around the Sun, it spins twice. That means each hemisphere gets a full year of daylight followed by a long night. Time zones would be a mess on this planet, so we'll just stick to GMT. Ugh, did anyone forget to take out the trash? Why does it smell of rotten eggs in here? Uh, sorry, it's because we're on Venus now, and these stinky clouds don't smell like roses. Any planet's day is basically just how long it takes for it to do a full spin on its axis. Well, Venus takes its sweet time with this, way slower than Earth, in fact. So a day on Venus lasts a whopping 243 Earth days, or almost 6,000 hours. Now here's where things get a bit tricky. Because Venus's day is so long, we actually use Earth's day as standard for keeping time on the planet. That means there's only one time zone for the whole planet. Seems convenient, huh? Venus's year is about 225 days. So if you were celebrating New Year's Eve on Earth in the year 2000, that would have been Venus's year 3251. So to keep track of time of Venus, we can use the local year made up of 225 Earth days, but every three years or so, there's an extra short year made up of only 224 days. Not that confusing. We have leap years on Earth too, but it works a bit differently. We've made it to planet Earth. Woohoo! How many time zones do we have on this big blue ball? Give me a drum roll. 24. And did you know that we can actually mess with time a little bit? Yup, in about 80 countries, mostly in Europe and North America, we have something called daylight saving time. It's where we move our clocks forward an hour during the summer so we can soak up all that sweet, sweet sunshine. But beware, each country has its own rules about DST. So make sure you don't get caught snoozing when you're supposed to be working. And get this, some regions even have time zones that differ from UTC by half or quarter hour increments. Can you imagine that the moon is getting its own time zone? The European Space Agency announced on Monday that it's time for the moon to have its own synchronized time zone. With more and more countries and private companies planning missions to our lunar neighbor, it's important that we all speak the same language when it comes to timekeeping. Right now, each mission carries Earth's coordinated universal time with it, which is fine when there are only a few missions happening at once. But with dozens of moon missions planned over the next few years, things are going to get tricky. We need a system in place to make sure everyone's on the same page, or we'll end up with different spacecraft out of sync with each other, and nobody wants that kind of chaos in space. Precise timekeeping is super important for communication and navigation, so we need to figure out a way to make sure everyone's on the same page. The ESA hasn't figured out exactly what form this new lunar time zone will take, but they're working on it. Should there be a single organization responsible for keeping lunar time? Or should we let the moon set its own time? And what about more granular time zones based on the sun's position? These are all important questions that need to be answered. When it comes to a day on Mars, it's not too different from a day on Earth. We're talking 24 hours, 39 minutes, and 35 seconds. A Martian year is 1.8 Earth years, which means the Earth year 2000 happened in Martian year 1063. Almost forgot. The Martian year has 668 local days. Phew! We sorted out the Martian calendar, but Mars will need local time zones. Because of its elongated orbit, the difference between summer and winter hours will be significant. Daylight saving time will be a thing on Mars. A year on Jupiter lasts almost 12 Earth years. Yeah, that's like a lifetime in dog years. But don't worry, they've got 12 seasons to keep things interesting. Each almost as long as an Earth year. But a day on Jupiter only lasts 9 hours and 55 minutes. Also, 
Since Jupiter doesn't have a solid surface, the clouds move at different speeds, so two free-floating atmospheric stations could experience different days. Hey, if we lived on Jupiter, we'd be in bad need of some cool app tracking all those things. Anyway, if we ever terraform Jupiter's region, most of the population will still live on Jupiter's moons, because the atmosphere is just too wild. And get this, the moon's revolution periods are connected, so we can use the same day counting system for all of them. On Io, we can have two standard Jovian days in one Earth day. How do we break that down? Well, we could have a minute of 53 seconds and an hour of 103 minutes. Or we could just stick with Earth's minute and hour and have a day that's 21 hours and 13 minutes long. How old are you? I'm 200 days old and you? Sounds odd to you, Earth dweller, but uh, dudes on Saturn count their age in days. A year on Saturn is crazy long, like more than 29 Earth years. Kiddos would only get a fraction of a year, while the oldest folks might get a whopping three years. So to keep track of time on Saturn, we could divide up a Saturnian year into 29 or 30 seasons. Oh, and fun fact, Saturn doesn't even have a solid surface, just rotating clouds that spin at different speeds. But we could still set up some cool research stations or helium extraction balloons to float around up there. One Uranian year lasts a whopping 84 Earth years. So to make things easier, We'll stick to using Earth years for our calculations, and natural Uranian years can be used for special occasions, like reaching one Uranian year old. As Uranus doesn't have a solid surface, the rotation period is all over the place. Only science missions and helium mining companies are brave enough to venture into the atmosphere. And get this, each moon has its own day and date system. Pretty confusing. Most people won't ever celebrate one Neptunian year old. One year on Neptune is like that's way too long for us humans to stick around. But don't worry, we'll still bust out the confetti and party hats for special occasions like when it's been two whole years since the first spaceship hit up Neptune. As for the rest of the time, we'll just use Earth years for all our business needs. Pluto takes a whopping 240 Earth years to orbit the Sun, which is way too long to use as a year in our everyday lives. A day on Pluto is almost like a week on Earth. So, to keep track of time, we're gonna divide that into six standard Plutonian days, three of light and three of dark. That means a standard day on Pluto will last slightly more than one Earth day. Now, because Pluto's axis is super tilted, using time zones would be pointless. So we'll just use one time zone for the whole system. Easy peasy. As for the standard Plutonian year, it'll be almost the same as the Earth year, about 343 days. But once in 10 years, we'll throw in an extra day just for kicks. That's all for now. See you on Pluto. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.